All right, so I just set up a idle up option with Betaflight. Um, I moved this two-way switch that was down here with the three-way switch that was down here. I just took the radio apart and switched them because I fly with my, I pinch. And so this switch is easier for me to reach with my index finger. And so I've always used this one as my arm switch, but now it's a three-way. So it, so I've got a pre-arm now. I left this one as an arm, but I set it as pre-arm. So that one has to be on first. And then this one, if I set it to the idle middle up. position, goes to idle, idle up. up. And idle up, it has no PID, lo up. PID loop. It just sets in a continuous loop like idle up with the KISS stuff, but this is beta flight. Then when I go to the third switch up, it turns on my air mode, which still does not activate my PID until I hit my throttle. I hit my throttle and it goes into regular air mode with PID with the PID doing what it's supposed to do until I'm going to come in and land. I reach up with my index finger, put that back to the center location, and then no matter how much throttle I give it as I'm coming in for a landing, once I drop it, I drop it. There's no it's not going to get crazy on you. You can actually I think you can actually yeah, you can actually touch these motors and it won't even go crazy. So I just stopped a motor and it didn't spiral and go all out of control and stupid. And then I've also, because of this setup, I've got a disarm and a disarm. Either one of those will kill the quad and both of those have to be on to arm the quad. So it's a lot safer now. Um, I'm going to post a full video on how I did this, what you have to do in beta flight and with the CLI command and the switches and the radio and how I did it and... All that stuff, it'll be on my YouTube channel soon, so let me know if you're interested.